It is very interesting to have both Lower Carbon and Founders Fund on the cap table because, yeah, you're right, they kind of have very different aesthetics, vibes, and mandates. Biomanufacturing is using engineered organisms to manufacture products of value to humanity in some way. These are companies that had invented some new product that was made from cells or from microbes, going after industries like food and nutrition, advanced materials, energy, medical stuff as well. We're not doing explosives, but I can talk about our project with the DoD. There would be no American industrial revolution without the Bessemer steel process. There would be no mass market automobile without Henry Ford's assembly line. And without a revolution in the architecture of the bioreactor, there can be no biomanufactured future. Biology is capable of making extremely complex things, including human brains. We always say at Biosphere is that we want every great bioproduct to be made on a biosphere reactor. The goal at scale is to try to reduce costs by like 10x. If we ever want to have the Star Trek replicator vision, bioreactors are probably the best way to do it. Bioreactors on Mars, that should be a thing. Bioreactors on a space station, that should be a thing. There is that temptation to really focus on the defense aspect of it. The idea that the CIA was using sort of mind readers who could ah. approximate where something was located. But I think fundamentally, biology is both a sustainable technology and a resilient technology. And those products might be critical from a sustainability perspective. They might be critical from a trade perspective or a military perspective. Yes, it happens to be a sustainable technology, but it's also the most advanced technology in the known universe.